quickness, the toughness. There's a drive in John Davis to succeed that was planted at an early age. I've been playing since I was probably four years old, just working out. Like my dad would put me on like those little toddler workout things. Cause his thing was he didn't want me to start playing competitive until I actually knew what I was doing. So when I was like four or five years old, I started going to like little rec centers and just doing like little just workout stuff on maybe one or two times a week just to get a feel for it, see where I was at with it. And then by the time I was 10 years old, I started playing competitive. Once he broke onto the competitive circuit and his talents began to show, there was no stopping him. Honestly, in high school and stuff like that, if, you're, if you have a lot of natural gifts, like, and I like to think that I have a lot of natural gifts, things that just come to me naturally that don't come to a lot of players naturally, it's, pretty, it's a lot easier. But then it starts, it starts to set in the competitiveness that you want to be the best. So, so I was working out constantly the whole summer. I was traveling, coming back home, working out. It was just like a year-long process at that point. The transition to the college game only fueled that fire, especially when his college recruitment did not go as planned. My recruitment was kind of a rocky process because at one point I was playing the two, just exclusively off the ball and I was just scoring. A lot of schools liked me for my scoring ability, but then at the very end of my like, high school career when I went to Hargrave, I transitioned to the point guard and that's when I looked worse because that was the first time I was ever playing point guard. So that's when my recruitment kind of dropped off a little bit. So I mean, I never really lost confidence in myself. It was just more so somebody willing to take a chance on me. Someone did take that chance on him. Davis gives his all for Charlotte because he believes Charlotte has given him so much in return. And put me in a position to be around all these great people like Coach Fange, Coach Gray, Tanner, Judy Rose, all this just basketball knowledge and abundance in Charlotte. I mean, I'm just blessed and happy about it. That fire that burns in Davis doesn't go unnoticed by those around him. He comes to work every day. Uh, you don't have to look around the corner to wonder what he's doing because he's a guy you can trust, he's a guy you can count on, he's a guy who knows he's got to continue to grow. That's why you love coaching guys like that because his focus is on Charlotte, on making the 49ers better, and uh, that's why I'm glad he's our leader. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely uh, stays in the gym getting up shots before and after practice. Uh, you know, he keeps guys together and uh, keeps the chemistry together and the unity together on our team. So When it matters most, the work he puts in before the game pays off. Big time. Five seconds, Davis, top of the key. Two seconds for the win. Oh, baby! In pass to John Davis, four seconds, three seconds, two. Davis for the win. Got it! Oh, baby! He did it again! Are you kidding me? Oh, 